Welcome to the support video for workload automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to resolve the control M job logs error message, email to email address failed, even the email shouts are being sent successfully from control M server. Let's log in to workload automation GUI and show you the configured jobs with shout alert notification. I have multiple jobs running simultaneously and sending the same alert notification when jobs ended. Let's order all these jobs now. There is one job named Shout1 who failed to send the email notification from Alert Console. So upon checking the log, we get this email failed error message. However, when I check the email recipient, the notification was sent successfully by the Control M server. There are certain reasons why this error message occurred from the Control M job logs even though the mail was received successfully by the recipient. Usually this error message occurs when the utility CTM mail busy sending other emails or busy in general with another task, or the CTM mail utility does not return in a timely manner and fails until reaches the configured timeout parameter. There are two ways to increase the Control M server system parameters. First option is using the Control M configuration manager by searching this system parameter mail underscore timeout and add output to email timeout limit. While the second option is depending from the OS environment by adding the same parameter name. For Unix, update it from config pointed file, while in Windows, the parameter must be updated from the Windows registry. From this demo, we will use the Control M configuration managers to update this Control M server parameter. Now let's log into CCM. Right click the Control M server system parameters. Look for the parameter name mail underscore timeout under the category SMTP. By default, it is set to 10 seconds. To increase the timeout volume, we will set it to 30 seconds. And if the job output is attached to the email, another relevant timeout parameter to set is add output to email timeout limit and set to 100 seconds. Click activate changes for the new parameter value to take effect. No need to restart any components. Now let's log in back to our workload automation GUI. Order and run again the same list of jobs with the same email notification. This time, no alert failure generated because the Control M server has enough time to receive the update from the mail server after increasing the timeout values. That concludes this Control M solution video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.